your heart. So I'm going to back. I'm going to see that you um, do not have any um, heaves or any of those lifts. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. We're going to inspect here in your aorta, make sure that it's not abnormally pulsing. Check. Okay, everything looks normal there. And now I'm going to um, I'm going to listen to your heart now. All right. How is your aortic? Monic. Nice. Your herbs point. Your tricuspid has a good rate, rate of two, and your mitral. Everything is normal. That's good. Now I'm going to turn the bell to the other side, or I'm going to check um, to see that you have if you have any bruises in your arteries. Okay. Using my bow, aortic, okay, pneumonic, herbs point, tricuspid, nice, and mitral. All right, didn't hear any breeze, so that is a good sign. That is good. Now we're done with um, cardiovascular. So we're done assessing and it appears to be steady age. I'm gonna start by feeling your carotid. Okay, so carotid is a strength of two plus bilaterally and rhythm was regular. I'm just gonna take a listen now. Can you hold your breath for me? And breathe. And hold your breath. All right, so there were no breweries um, heard. So now I'm just going to feel free apical impulses to just right under here. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up. Can you lean forward a little bit? All right, so apical impulse is in the, on the left side, midclavicular is good intercostal space. So I'm gonna take a listen to your valve sound. Aortic, pulmonic, and mitral. Alright, so S1 and S2 were heard and rhythm was regular, so I'm going to take a listen again. Aortic. Pulmonic. and mitral. So S3 and S4 were not present and there were no more. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate the patient um, looking for symmetry and looking at color. I want to make sure everything is um, a nice normal pink fleshy color and not a bluish color. So I'm going to be looking at the nails first and I don't see any signs of yellowing, any signs of cyanosis where they would be blue. There isn't any swelling, and it's the same on both sides. If it were a cardiac um, anomaly, it would be some sort of 
it would probably not be bilateral. Um, and then I'm going to do a pinch test to ensure good perfusion. And then I'm also going to look at the face and the lips and things like that for signs of cyanosis. And then I'm going to look to the chest for signs of abnormalities. So when I'm looking at the chest, he has some hair on his chest, but that's typical with males. Um, and then I'm going to look at um, his jugular vein. So I'm going to measure his jugular vein. He's not quite at 45 degrees, but I couldn't get the table to 45 degrees. He should be at 45 degrees. I'm going to put this in his external notch. And then I'm going to put this where I see the top of his jugular vein. And I'm going to measure, and it should be under two millimeters. And it is, it's about one and a half. So that's good. Um, the next thing I am going to do is I am going to locate the apex of the heart, which is um, the apical impulse. So I am looking for the beat, which I see. Um, probably about right here. Um, here. So then I'm going to feel for the point of maximum impulse. Yep. He's alive. And then I'm also going to look to the abdomen um, to make sure I don't see any extra heartbeats down there, which could be a sign of like an aortic aneurysm. So I look, and now I'm going to palpate. So I'm going to begin by dragging out the tissue slack in the under the armpit and I'm just going to skip to percussion I guess. That's where it changes. That's where it changes. And then again. And that was good. So now I'm going to palpate for murmurs and for heaves. So first I'm going to palpate for heaves using the heels of my hands on the different points where we are supposed to listen to. So the atrial, pulmonary, um, mitral, and the tricuspid. And then I'm also going to, like I said before, feel for murmurs. Finger tips. Finger tips. Finger tips. Finger tips. Um, one thing we're going to say is when I was percussing, I was percussing the third, fourth, and fifth intercostal spaces. So now I've done my palpation, my percussion, and my observation. So I'm going to move into auscultation. I'm going to be placing this on your chest um, and evaluating the same areas as before, but adding herbs point. So going atrial, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Beginning with the diaphragm. Every time. and then switching it to the bell side. Your tummy girdle. Yeah. Everything I heard um, was good. Normal S1 and S2 sounds. I'm going to help the patient to sit up. And we're going to do, can you swing your feet over to the side? 
we're going to do the um, aortic regurgitation test. So um, I'm going to use the diaphragm and I am going to place it onto the aortic valve because it's aortic regurgitation. Um, I'm going to have the patient lean forward and hold his breath. And nothing there. And I'm going to have you actually lay back down. I'm sorry, on your left side. Left side. Left side down. Yep. And I'm going to evaluate the mitral valve for um, any sort of mitral deficiencies using the bell. And then if I had heard something, um, I would do the next test um, if I heard something out of the ordinary. So the next test is I have the patient do a Valsalva maneuver. So can you act like you're blowing up a balloon for me? And everything I heard was normal. So today I'm going to be doing a cardiac exam on you. So I'm going to be listening to your heart um, and just uh, pumping. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. So during the survey, my patient is upright, conversational, alert, um, pink scale colored skin, and looks their age. Um, do you have a history of any heart disease? No. Okay. Are you experiencing any pain today? No. Okay. So we're going to begin with our exam. So to start, I'm just going to feel your carotid arteries real quick. patient's carotid arteries are bilaterally symmetric with a um, score of positive 2 on both sides and has a regular rhythm. Um, next, I am going to listen to them real quick with my bell. And if you don't care to hold your breath, I'll do this. Um, I'll just tell you when you can breathe, okay? Okay, you can breathe. All right, and then hold your breath for me. Okay. Um, no bruise referred in the carotid artery. Um, I'm gonna feel for your apical impulse, okay? Um, it is going to be at your fifth intercostal space, left mid clavicular. Okay, so I'm gonna lift your jaw up a little bit. And okay, um, that is also a two plus on the rating scale and is uh, regular rhythm. Okay, now I'm going to listen to different parts of your heart. Um, you're more than welcome to breathe during this. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do your aortic, pulmonic, Tested and then oops, sorry, mitral. All right, um, I can't remember what I'm supposed to say for that one. Oh, I do remember. Okay, so S1 and S2 are present. Um, Now I'm going to do the same exact thing with my bell, okay? Uh, I'm going to be listening for any S3 or S4 and any murmurs. Aortic. Pulmonic. Tricuspid. 
Pulse is 80 um, and it is regular rhythm. 